What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a nice, cool fall evening here in Finley, Ohio. I'm hanging out in the beer shed, getting ready to check out a new beer. The beer I have today is called Constant Motion. This is a coffee IPA from Flying Fish Brewing out of Somerdale, New Jersey. Now, this beer was sent out to me um, by Wayne in southeastern Pennsylvania, so big shout-out to Wayne for sending this to me. Now, it's kind of cool. I'm looking at the artwork on here, and it looks like somebody... Standing on the front with some coffee cups. Maybe I'm crazy. This kind of looks like Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just what I see when I look at that image. I'll throw one down in the corner so you can take a look at it. Uh, anyway, we've got a little bit of a beer blurb here on the side. Constant Motion Coffee IPA. Like our caffeinated pals over at Revolution Coffee Roasters, nonstop innovation keeps our wheels turning and our fish wings flapping. We put our collective brews, beans, and brains together to bring you Constant Motion, a wonderfully complex coffee IPA. Copious amounts of tropical citra, mosaic, and azaka hops are enhanced by bright berry notes and a smooth caramel finish from Revolution's masterfully balanced house cold brew. So if you look down here, it looks like it has a Revolution Coffee Roasters logo. So obviously brewed in collaboration. Um, let's see what else we have. Nothing much, just the info for flying fish, I guess. Now, the glass I'm using today, I took some heat. As me and Anderson been using those jam jars, as my, my boy Slurpy Dave calls them. Um, I hate to say this. I actually have tons of beer glasses. I buy them all the time. It's almost an obsession. But I'm also equally paranoid that I'm going to break them, especially if Anderson and I are out in the shed doing a bunch of beers in the evening after we've had, who knows, a couple too many. I have to go down these steps and make it across my yard without he or I dropping them. Um, so that's why I always go with the jam jars. The other cool thing about those is there's hash marks on the side. It's pretty easy to even out a beer if you're sharing it. But as I'm solo, I'm going to break this one out. Little Miss Brewing, San Diego, California. Anderson was out on tour recently and bought back a couple of things from Cali. So he bought this back, and he also bought me back um, a couple of Pliny the Elders. Now, I've never seen Pliny in stores anywhere near me, so that video will be coming up soon. Super hyped to be able to give that a shot. All right, enough yammering. Let's give this a try. Now, one thing I thought was interesting, um, when I was looking at the ratings, I'm tapped this at a 3.74, and Beer Advocate, there was no, uh, no reference to it. They were all NAs. It wasn't on there. Now, one thing I found was kind of neat is on Beer Advocate, and this must be a new feature, um, you have a weight, the overall score, and then a weighted score. So I know one of the criticisms of Beer Advocate, or of Beer Advocate, of Untapped, was that if someone checks into Budweiser a thousand times and gives it a 5.0, it would tend to skew the number higher than what maybe it would really be rated because you're basically spamming the ratings with one person. So I guess this weighted score is a way to eliminate that. I'm assuming, I didn't look into it yet, I'm assuming each person, whatever your last rating is, or that's probably what they're going to stick with, which is probably a lot more reasonable. Then you get a true um, scale as to what it is, as opposed to two or three people or, you know, maybe people in a couple bars or at a brewery, heavily influence and kind of skew the numbers. So let's give this one a shot. First off, I don't know why. I expected this to be a little bit darker in color. Um, I go to the SRM chart. It's definitely probably like a six or a seven, like a deep, maybe, yeah, seven, like a deep gold color to it. Um, bit hazy can't see through it or you know uh got a fair amount of bubbles though look like little fine bubbles head looks quite nice head's kind of interesting probably got a finger and a half here um nice white kind of clunky clunky looks pretty decent let's give it a sniff now i will say this i'm not a huge fan of coffee or ipas so i'm not sure what i'm going to think of this but i give it a shot nose Nose is kind of subtle. It's not huge coffee smell. Um, it almost smells kind of like like a creamy smell to it. Like a, I mean, it's obviously got like a light coffee smell, but it smells like a, a chocolatey kind of coffee thing going on there. That's a nice smell. Who knows? Maybe I'll wind up liking coffee when this is all done. That smells nice. Yeah, it's like a creamy... If I were to just smell this blind and not look at it, I'd almost think it's like a... Like a chocolatey or a cocoa kind of smell. Smells good. Give it a shot. Cheers. Thanks again, Wayne. Greatly appreciate you sending this one out, my friend. Medium body. Probably on the higher side. A little heavier. 
not 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 super full bodied, but it's a nice uh, probably higher end of the medium spectrum. Let's give it a second sip. Go in here. That's a tasty brew. Uh, like I said, not a huge IPA guy, not a huge coffee fan in general. I'm a tea drinker. I drink Irish breakfast tea. Uh, but this is pretty good. And I'll say this. When you first sip it, I think you get like a, a roasty kind of light coffee note. And it's not super strong, but you get a little bit of a, a nice coffee bean kind of flavor. And I think, like I said, you get a little bit of caramel. You do pick that up. And then the hops kind of hit you. Now, the hops aren't overpowering. Um, I know it's supposed to, what did it say, Citra, Azaka, and, was it Mosaic? And Mosaic. Yeah, so, I mean, you do get a little bit of kind of like that tropical note, but it's not like the super tropical where it just tastes like, I don't know, like you're drinking a some kind of drink on the beach somewhere. Um, there is a little bit of, of, of pininess to it, a little bit of, of the citrus kind of notes to it. And I think it kind of balances well against the coffee and against the malt and the other things that are going on there. That little bit of sweetness, I assume it's the malt sweetness, gives a little bit of a caramel thing. Um, this is a pretty well-balanced drink. Now, I will say this. After you drink it, the hops presence kind of lingers a bit. That's weird. I just lick my lips and you almost taste like a little bit of the caramel, a little bit of sweetness. Because I was thinking the hops is kind of lingering and giving me that... Um, that little puckering bit, I guess, from the, the from the hops. Uh, but it works quite well. This is a good beer. This is something that I wouldn't have purchased on my own uh, because it says coffee IPA. This probably would have scared me away. So I'm super happy that you sent this to me, Wayne, because you're challenging me and making me challenge my taste buds, right? This is something I would, if you if I saw this on a board at a brewery or in a store and I said, that's nah, it's not for me. I'm going to stick to the milk stouts and the sours and uh, the Vienna lagers and the Oktoberfest and the stuff I traditionally like. But this is the fun of drinking beer. Sometimes you try stuff that's probably not in your wheelhouse. And look, sometimes you don't like it, right? No, no, <laughs> it's no loss there. It's still a unique check-in, a new beer tried, and a new adventure. And every once in a while, you get lucky and you actually dig something you think you wouldn't. And I think those are the sweet victories. If I drink an Oktoberfest, look, I'm going to like 99 out of 100. Unless you completely screw up the Oktoberfest. It's a style of beer I dig. They're very similar. I'm going to like it. This, on the other hand, is something a little different. And thanks to Wayne, I tried it and enjoyed it. So for me, Constant Motion, big thumbs up. I would definitely have another one of these. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you tried Constant Motion or anything else from Flying Fish? Anything else from theirs I should be on the lookout for? This one was pretty good. Hey, till next time. Cheers.